How's it going? Hope you're having a good day. For this video, I wanted to go over a few things that I've done in previous videos and give some additional information. What I'll be going over is how to prevent shadow play from recording your chat audio. Now this will be part one of the video. Part two, I'll actually show how to reroute that chat audio back into your recording because Shadowplay has the option now to have two audio tracks with your recordings. So I'll show you on part two how to separate your desktop audio for one channel and have your microphone and chat audio on the second channel. First off, how do we separate that? Well, in order to understand how to separate it, you should understand what Shadowplay is actually doing. You go to your audio tab here and right click, go to playback devices, Whatever your default playback device is, is what Shadowplay records. This includes any audio that goes to it. So it doesn't matter what you do, whatever audio is going to this device is going to be recorded as the gameplay audio and Shadowplay. So essentially what we're trying to do is reroute the chat audio away from this device completely. So if you have this as your headset, it's not going to work because you have to route it away from that device. If this is your headset and you route the chat audio to a different device and then it's sent to your headset, it's still being sent to your headset and it's going to be recorded. So if the only device that you have is your headset, then we can change that pretty quickly. All you need to do is go in to virtual audio cable, download and install this. So once that's downloaded and installed, you just need to go back to the playback devices find virtual audio cable and set that as your default device. Second, you'll have to go into whatever chat program you're using, find the output source for the audio and select it as your headset. This way the chat audio is not being sent to the default playback device, therefore not being recorded by Shadowplay. Essentially that's it. If for whatever reason this isn't working and you can't hear the audio through here, Another thing you can do is go back to this website and you'll see a voice meter tab and a banana tab. Just click on the banana tab. This is voice meter banana. Find it, download it, and install it. Once installed, open this up. Make sure this is the voice meter banana. It'll say banana right here in the top left. So there's a few cool things about voice meter banana. It gives you these two inputs here that you can actually use as default playback devices and everything should work out pretty well. So all you need to do is go back into playback devices and you'll see the channels here. There's an aux channel, which corresponds to the aux VAIO channel. And then there's a VAIO channel by itself, which corresponds to this one here. So anyways, once you select one of these as your default playback device, essentially you just do the same thing, go into your chat audio, make sure the output source is going to be your headset. This way it routes all that chat audio away from the default device. The way I have it set up is my Discord audio goes to virtual audio cable, which I have right here. All you have to do is click this, find what source you want. There you go. Now, one thing you have to realize is my headset is on A1. You select this, find your headset, and select it. Now, what you need to do is make sure these are set up correctly. And what I mean by that is, as you can see, here's my chat audio. A1 is selected here. By default, I think all three of these are selected. Well, if A1 is highlighted and selected, that means any audio that comes into this channel will be routed to A1, which I have set as my headset. Since A2 is selected, everything that is on A2, which is my capture card, all the audio in here will be sent to A2, A3, and so on. Now B1 and B2 correspond to these two channels here. This one's B1 and this one is B2. So let's say you have this set as your uh, default playback device and this uh, and the virtual audio cable is set for your chat audio. If you have it set up like I do here and you have B1 selected, all this audio is going to be sent to B1 here. Now it may not show it here, but for the most part, if you go to, uh, I think the recording tab, you should see it here. As you can see, I'm speaking and I have B1 and B2 selected and they're both coming up here. If I was to select, deselect B2, then it would not show up any longer on this channel. If I deselect B1, it won't show up any longer on this channel. So if you do it this way and you come up to some issues where your chat audio is still being recorded, this is probably where it's at and you probably need to deselect these. I just recommend deselecting these anyways until you figure out a little bit more what you're doing 
and you're getting more in depth. Granted with this, you don't really need to use these uh, at all. So in summary, what we did was go over how to separate your chat audio from being recorded by shadow play, which means we have to route the audio away from whatever the default playback device is. So if you're having issues and it's still being recorded by shadow play, this means that the audio from your chat program is somehow being sent to this device that is your default playback device. An issue that people had before was having their headset as their default playback device, sending the chat audio to virtual audio cable, going to the listen tab and selecting their headset. All this does is reroute that chat audio back to the default playback device, therefore being recorded. We wanna separate that completely. Once you separate that, it won't be recorded any longer. So with that being said, that's the end of this video. For the next video, I'll be showing you how to reroute the chat audio back into Shadowplay to be recorded along with your mic on a separate track from the desktop audio. So I hope you have a good day. I'll catch you on the next one. Ram tight out. <laughs>